Do you get annoyed, Ben, when you hear Americans talk like European geography? Because you probably know all those countries just instantly, right? You know, all those videos online where they have like, they interview just an American on the street and they say like, point to this place on a map. I'm watching those videos like, ha, idiots. I'm going for a fucking idea where that country is. (laughs) If I was stopped in the street, I'd have no clue. (laughs) Geography (laughs) questions are like the ultimate, like if someone asks me like, like, hey, can you get to like name every state in the US like just from the map? And I'm like, yeah, obviously, I'm a genius. And then if someone's like, where's the Congo? I'm like, who even, <laughs> as if that even is indi- indicative of anything. Like, like you just don't, it, I don't think it has to do with anything but memorization. I, I'd have an easier time finding the fucking Congo than I would, like, those some of those squiggly states up there. We did this the map test the other day, and I was like, is that Rhode Island? What am I clicking? There aren't enough pixels. Like, it, it's, a, it's such a squiggle up there. Yeah, I think I got all but one. I think down. I... I think I inverted two of the states or something. I think like I got that. everything right in the Northeast, but I got too many wrong in the Midwest. Yeah, you inverted like Nevada and New Mexico or something. You have, yeah. yeah. Arizona and New that. Mexico, I that, think you did. Yeah, that makes more sense. That's when you get to like Iowa and Illinois and there might be another I one. Somewhere. Yeah, I mean, we were talking about like the his- the way we were taught history the other day, or certainly in high school, like, like, like just mm. regular public school. Like, holy shit, you get Civil War um revolutionary war you get a little bit of what was going on in england before we had enough apparently (laughs) (laughs) whole lot of holocaust world war ii kicks in and and oh it's time for economics and science now boys we don't have any more history in us like that's it yeah vietnam i don't think i learned word one about vietnam nothing at all (laughs) korea i was almost convinced korea was like a very minor thing because of how much they i took korea upon it i was like i gotta learn about what happened to korea because nobody else is gonna teach me i gotta get out there i gotta figure this out i'm I'm so old that like i wanted to know about vietnam and they wouldn't teach it it was like Mm. a uh, a politically hot topic and i was like what was vietnam about and the teachers would look to each other and giggle I'm like, I don't need a hot take or anything, but like literally, like, why were we doing it at all? Nah, we can't say. Yeah. You're a teacher. It's Jesus like, Christ. Describe a battle or something. Give me something. Here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. They just wouldn't talk the about Vietnam. Orange. It'd be like never lost about a battle. Current politics. I think that's fun about European history, like the UK, France, all that, where you can learn like what were we up to in the year 800? Like, like Charlemagne. It's like history like a thousand years ago. And they're like, oh, but that's like not even halfway through our history. And in America, it's like eons ago mm-hmm. in 1904, with like half of our country's existence ago. It's wacky that's to weird. leave the country and then walk around amongst buildings that are four or 500 years old. Like, mm. yeah, this shit's been like 405 years, four or 500 years ago was before time started to an American. Yeah. yeah. I mean, there's it stuff here that's that old, but we just didn't make any of it, right? rocks like yeah, ruins ruins <laughs> ruins would be but but like there's nothing but in terms of like 500 years old the ruins you'll find are like this is where the native american indians yeah. wash their clothes it's a particularly hard part of the riverbank yeah it's, it's like, like oh you can there's fit a, it in uh, case it's like i want something a little bigger i <laughs> think it's there, I, think, I know there's one in europe that's like the longest um it's been it's a hotel or something that's been open forever. I think there's one in Japan too. Like Japan, maybe there's yeah. a a sake bar or something that's been open for like a thousand, fifteen hundred years or something like that. Like, yeah, we never close. Like they just open <laughs> was waffle years. house. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for fifteen hundred years though, they haven't closed. They've yeah. been serving at the same place. So the fact that something hasn't destroyed a building like that and that and that amount of time is surprising. It's like it's like the city's probably been conquered three or four times in fifteen hundred yeah. years. That's what happened so many all earthquakes Europe. and tsunamis and yeah. shit like all the all the big european cities my hot take is if you've been to one like major european city you've been to them all a little bit the culture is different but the architecture is the fucking same it all looks exactly the same there's the same shops it's like because everything got blown up in the war and then rebuilt again like mm-hmm. if you've been to like berlin paris berlin and paris look exactly the same london looks like berlin and paris uh stockholm looks like that they're all really similar it's that same architectural style. Yeah, that's true. And they, all those cities brag about being so old, but we blew them up like 75 yeah. years ago. They can't brag about that shit anymore. All their shit's new. We built it. Seems we, like wait Rome, a minute. Rome probably could, <laughs> right? Like, seems like there's a lot of really cool old stuff in Rome. Greece. Mm-hmm. That yeah. would be neat. That's no, so old, it's almost baffling. Like, have you been there yet, Taylor? It seems no, like you want to just I've never go. been to Europe. Why haven't you? Sure. You can do this show from Europe. 
you could do a, you could do a cruise to Italy and not even have to do anything, you know, not even have to do any rail or, or any like walking amongst that filth. No, you'll have to do some rail. <laughs> like it, well, no, you can't just not, pull up to the coast of Italy in a, in a boat. You can, but if you want to see like uh, oh, yeah. Venice, no, not Venice. What am I? Where's Rome? the Pope? Oh, the Vatican, Vatican City, the Vatican, uh, Rome, shit like that. You, you need to would, go by rail. Uh, yeah, yeah, you want to see the Vatican. You can't go there and not that. That place is. That would they be really, a, really cool. They made a castle for, yeah, and and we all know about it. It's crazy. It's almost Dude. like it, Diddy's mansion's just sitting there, nobody going in. <laughs> the Vatican <laughs> delivers, like the Vatican really, really delivers. But there's also a lot of other churches. You just walk in and look up, and you're like, this shit's like six stories tall with paintings and stuff, and it's just what a waste of fucking space. money. Jeez. If oh, you're sure. if you're gonna go to one European city, Finn, what's mm. what's the one you're most impressed by? It's it's never gonna be the major ones, like me, oh. like Milan in Italy is really nice because it's not like the soup the big hub for any, for anything mm. like that, or like um Marbella in Spain's lovely, like a bunch of places that aren't they're not like the tourist trap ones, like stuff you can just walk around and as long as you got like GPS you'll be fine, but it's just fun to just wander. Anything like that's pretty fun because you get to see all like the little like bakeries run by like four generations of women and they're all there still, you know. That would be cool. <laughs> that I is like pretty that. neat. Other than that, it's just like shopping. Like if you're into the, <laughs> if you're into that, I guess. But I don't see the reason to travel. I, but... I wouldn't want to like shop for clothes in like Italy because everyone's so svelte and no one's fat. And if you're overweight at all, they're gonna like slap you in a in a double XL. I imagine in right? Italy. In, I, I picture European clothes being almost like Asian clothes where like you go over there and it's just so much smaller because we have a bunch of vanity sizing here in the U.S. Yeah. Where mm. you're like, oh, you're just a medium. And like you put that medium that could clothe an entire family in Thailand. Right. <laughs> 32 inches. That's three feet, right? Yeah. <laughs> These will fit me. Yeah. And the Brits, they lived under that blitz for too long. They had to live on that that those rations for too long with the Germans bombing them, mm-hmm. and so they never started eating good food again. Yeah, yeah, it could be true. I mean, <laughs> that's we, a good scientific. Theory. We all, we had the jelly deals and stuff. I'm not sure if that's still a still a thing anywhere in England, but that's probably the most disgusting thing I've heard. That that's like a cultural thing here. Jelly one thing deals. that we get no education about. Mm-hmm. Well, one more thing that we get no education about is the deal with Ooh. Ireland. And and uh, and and England and, and just how much awful has happened and how recently awful things have happened. I saw a thing today and it was um, uh, Celian Murphy. You know that actor, right? The guy from um, yeah, uh, from everything. He was in Oppenheimer <laughs> most recently, and uh, he was he's in uh, what's the the TV show? Uh, the Peaky Blinders. Peaky Blinders. Yeah. Uh, but but he's like got his hands in his pockets when he's meeting the prince, and they're like, this is the thing that Irish people do, because I guess there was um a, a thing where when they were go- they said that any irishman with his hands in his pockets was to be shot on the streets because they might be ira might, might have a weapon in their pocket or a detonator mm-hmm. in their pocket and so they and so like i guess they showed someone else some other oh it was an irish football player meeting the queen hands in his fucking pockets <laughs> and I, I guess that's a way of like showing disrespect while still conforming to the formality of having to meet royalty yeah, I know there's, there's no love lost there with the Irish and the Brits. No. Yeah, that's the place where I'm at in uh, Birmingham and everything. That's, you could go to pubs here and there's like a lot of IRA bombings. And if you bring up, sometimes if you bring up Irish people to the wrong person, you'll hit a nerve, you know, because it's like within a generation. So like yeah. they've experienced and everything. But So you'll just bring it up and they'll be like, yeah, don't get me started on fucking Irish people. We complain way more about the French and Americans. I think that's the two. <laughs> <laughs> the French are just, maybe it's because they don't speak English as much, but it because seems like the French dicks. are always getting hated on. The French are asshole. Have, you've never been to France. Have no. you been to France, Kyle? No, sir. Don't. I, it's Okay, in all fairness, apparently when you when you talk to French people, it's just Parisians. That's where that like awful person thing comes from like people mm. in paris for some reason are just the worst humans on earth they suck they're not helpful they talk to you like you're dirt like a little rat trying to talk to them <laughs> covered in shit they are awful people but the rest of the french people are great apparently i've only apparently ever you've only met the parisians oh uh, i'm that's wondering I, I, I like, like racist against the french apparently <laughs> just from that one... uh, that's part of your national identity though oh yeah you guys don't get along 
the president <laughs> of France is going hard in the paint on this Ukraine thing. He's talking about sending troops. Really? French troops, that'll solve this. <laughs> I mean, I mean, I, you know, they won a lot of battles. They probably have a... Have oh, yeah, they're, the like, they take so many L's for, like, military stereotypes, and it's like they won for, like, a thousand years. Like... They're they got quite a storied history. They're like the Montreal Canadiens. They haven't won anything big in a long time, but they've got a, a storied franchise. And so they can be like, oh yeah, how about the Battle of 1052, bitch? And it's like, <laughs> I'm American. That's not a real year. <laughs> <laughs> I, I there is a theory that Charlemagne didn't exist and that whole thousand years was made up and just tacked on to make the calendars fit better. Who came up with that? Who came up with the theory or who came up with the the, with the, the theory? Series? Oh, crazy people on the internet. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. That's a good one with every theory. Oh, President Obama. He, he's the he's the one out there. Yeah, he's a, pushing that one. I've stumbled he's, upon he's, something uh, <laughs> disturbing. Like his his birth certificate was a little weird. Charlemagne. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> Charlemagne. <laughs> <laughs> he wasn't born anywhere. <laughs> Didn't exist. No, Charlemagne's uh, too cool. Oh yeah. The two staples. Those were the two two of the humors in the that, ancient Greek uh, medical system. Drugs, that's what, drugs and that's, cum. That's what my coat of arms is. It's just drugs and cum. <laughs> no swords or. <laughs> what would you put on a coat of arms if you were trying to look hardcore? Because oh, you can't I mean, you can't make a joke one, and because nobody's gonna want to fight for you. Your your fiefdom oh, is gonna man. be like, I'm not fighting for the fucking cum guy. I mean, that, I think they're, they're going to say number one. We say they're going to say I respect how much he comes, but I if don't. If I'm trying to scare that. people, if I'm trying to scare people, I go with the 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 Bolton uh, coat of arms, the flag Bolton man. flag, the flayed man. Okay, because when you showed up and you're like your flag is one of your enemies skint alive, it's like, bro, that's like that's your main thing. Like like <laughs> like, like ours is a quilt that we that, that our grandmothers all got together and you see it's a it's a meadow this yeah. is our most beautiful meadow in our land we all the grandmothers stitched a a skinned man yeah that that would be an intense one that's almost a little too try hardy so you need to find a little middle ground between the flayed I, you man. know what you might like mine because i like fire something fire could be Maybe just literally a campfire type thing, but everybody knows we burn our enemies. You know, oh, at least the top fire. guys. Ma mm -hmm. the, it's the flayed man, except he's on fire. Well, there wouldn't be a guy in it that's implied, right? We oh. we have a reputation. Our flag is merely the fire, but oh. everybody knows we use fire to fight, fire to punish, fire. We're fire people. Fire people. Okay. Use yeah, you everything. couldn't do like modern stuff. Like you couldn't have like a picture of a guy being lethal injected, tased. That's not scary. <laughs> Night tase, tase yeah. Your tase might be kind of cool. You tase like the guys all shock <laughs> outlines around him. Yeah. He's, <laughs> yeah. No, I Dude, think I've I think watching. the fire thing's good, but you'd have to drag into that to kind of play into the times. I've been okay, watching my police. Okay. Coco is more valuable than copper now. Did you read that? I saw no. that, and I don't understand why. It's because we, well, they don't want us to mine the cocoa with slaves anymore for some reason. Mm. Where are we gonna get our chocolate? I like that old timey chocolate. That's how I would advertise at my chocolate company. <laughs> Oh god. Harvested the old fashioned way. <laughs> and you see like a, a child with missing one hand, like like her <laughs> hurrying up a ladder to get those cocoa beans. Dude, missing a hand, how intense is is the chocolate I cut harvesting it off business? He well he did wasn't it, working. Because I went fucking full Leopold mode and I chopped off his hand because there wasn't enough cocoa last That's week. That's such a stupid move. If you got a team collecting chocolate for you mm -hmm. and you start cutting hands off, only the slowest No one is gonna yeah, but that's still now you've you've that guy's never going to be a good chocolate collector. He ever. wasn't to begin with, but now everybody else is like ten percent better. No, I do positive reinforcement. It'd be like everybody gets to keep ten percent of the chocolate you get every day, and then I sell them back diabetes medication at a at a huge <laughs> profit. <laughs> now I'm making money hand over fist. Ah, oh, I think I think someone already took that idea. It's called the United States government. Ah, oh, fuck our healthcare system beat us to it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Shit. They they feed us corn syrup. You with mean their they give us corn syrup for and rip us off on the insulin with their right? Like I'm pretty sure that, that they they came up with that idea a long time ago. Yeah, corn they were syrup is wild. The the more they look into it, the more they're like, yeah, this really isn't. This is worse. This is even worse than we thought it was for you folks. <laughs> they were sitting around this. in a secret cabal at worshiping that owl out there, and they were like, yes, the corn syrup. That is the way. <laughs> <laughs> if it were, if it were that evil though. I don't think they would have they would have kept giving Mexico delicious sugar coke. 
that delicious sugary Coke that they've um, got. I worry about where they source their water, though, you know? I've never worried that. <laughs> you know, in Mexico? Yeah. No, you they know got Mexican things. water gives you the poops. No, nah, that's a myth. <laughs> 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 myth plausible. <laughs> no, it is. Yeah, you don't want to drink the water down there. It's it's not good. The guy is asleep at the wheel, hat over his eyes. <laughs> at, the Mexican, <laughs> at the Mexican water plant. Not like that. Completely true. checked out to see if I could order like I've never had like the corn syrup sort of like coke before. Apparently it's yeah. like oh. really? You guys get yeah, sugar coke there? Yeah. You have real sugar? Yeah. Well, oh. I drink diet coke. I drink like Coke Zero, so I'm not gonna know the difference anyway. But like, they, I want to try corn syrup coke. They you would they do the real sugar they, they they do the real sugar versions of our sodas occasionally as like a limited time. Ooh, you can have the good stuff for a week kind of thing. Mm. Like like when they have real sugar Pepsi, it's like yeah, I'm gonna have one of those. Yeah, it's like mu- it, it's better. It's more of a fruitier, sweeter taste. Nobody um, likes the corn syrup kind of more. No, I've had like I've had um what are the the fountain drinks I think that I've had one of those yeah. at like a Starbucks and I had Starbucks or the Subway and I had Fanta and it tasted awful but it, that might just be a fountain drink thing it just uh, it could be I, but it definitely had corn syrup and if you're used to like delicious real man that pisses me off I didn't know Europe was getting good soda too I just looked up why the U S has corn syrup in their soda maybe everyone knows Kyle has applied it yeah. Yeah, corn is subsidized in America. Therefore, corn syrup is cheap, and they cheaped out and used a cheaper sweetener. Boom. Don't like that. We got to go back to sugar. You guys get the best candies, though. I'll give you that. We do have the best candies. I think America is the best candy in the on the planet by far. I haven't given a fair shake to European candies. If you had to put a, a, <laughs> Europe, you if you had to put a European candy up there against American candy, Finn, what would you recommend? Do you have like? Oh, but you've got most of the shit. Uh, we have all the good shit. You, okay. Go order a Turkish delight off Amazon and you'll be like, other countries settle for this bullshit candy. It's <laughs> that is horrible. My, my friend was like, hey, do you want to try some traditional Yugoslavian candies? This is back when Yugo was a place. And uh, I'm like, this is candy to you? There's like meat in it. It, it. No one does candy like America. No one comes close. Do you guys have dairy milk? Like Cadbury? Uh, we Wait, have Cadbury dairy eggs, milk, but I uh, like d- Cadbury dairy milk. It's like just a plain chocolate bar. Because realistically, I've had a Hershey's oh. bar and it doesn't stand a candle. Dairy milk chocolate it goes so hard. It's the best can. It's the best chocolate bar. I think you've got everything else because you we do have, have better candy in every other way. We have this one. I just linked it. I've I don't know if I've ever had it, but like, is this yeah, what you're talking about? Stuff? Yeah. This is yeah. It? Yeah, but I bet like, ours has corn syrup in it. I, not, probably not as tasty. I'm not sure. I, I don't know. I don't know how I bet on that. But um, yeah, I, I do know some people like the darker chocolate or they don't like the American version of chocolate with all the milk and sugar. But if you don't like Hershey's, we have it all. Yeah, And it's not like it's hard to find. Like that gas station has everything you want. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Hershey's gets ripped on. And it's just because like I remember like good memories of eating it on like Halloween as a kid. But like mm-hmm. in a blue moon, like a little bit of Hershey's is kind of nice. I I like that. I know it is like the laughing stock of the with chocolate. almonds or without. Either way, either way, I I do like like preference would be with almonds. Me too. That's a little bit of texture there. Yeah, yeah. And good. plus, sometimes when you want to break it along the lines, the almonds make you eat too, and you're like, oh, <laughs> shucks the uh, luck. Now I got to eat the whole thing. What are we gonna? Do? What are <laughs> oh man, I. It's weird we're talking about candy because I, out of nowhere, I had like three intense urges today to have Oreos delivered to my house, like just to what? order Oreos because I'm like, man, I want some fucking Oreos. I want pregnant. the I want the birthday cake <laughs> kind. Like the last couple of times I've had Oreos, I've been all in on the birthday cake kind, which is very good. And of course, I didn't do it because I have a bad track record of not eating the entire thing when I have Oreos delivered to my house. And that's like, if you look at the back, man, you eat all three or four of those sleeves. It's, it's like 2,200 calories. Yeah. That's it's, the reason why it's on the back. You don't, you're not supposed to read that. Yeah. No. Yeah. It, yeah. Knowledge is, is not what I want in that situation. Just to settle it, by the way, I Googled most popular British, can- B- British candy. All of them are bad. <laughs> <laughs> just, they are British. 
and that's it. That's they're really not great. And Britain, all, Britain gets there. gets a bad rap on food, but the British don't help it by someone posting a picture of like barely toasted toast and then the beans. And I'm like, I need a Brit to come in here and be like, "Oi, governor, this ain't what we be eating." And then like, it is though. It out. And it then is they're though. Like, delicious. And I'm like, "Oh my god, you're starting your day with a fucking fucker. two cups of." Ben beans. has cans of Pines beans in her house right now. Okay, they're right Pines beans with that light blue. <laughs> they got that light blue label, don't they? Yeah, they're mm. good. Okay, look, there's for breakfast. Though. Every American that I've ever made beans on toast for has the same reaction. They go, "Oh, it's not that bad. It's it's all right." And that's it. It's never bad, but it's mid. <laughs> yeah, yeah, because yeah, we're polite people, <laughs> and we're liars. <laughs> <laughs> we are fibbers, notorious. I mean, and it's it sucks because someone will post like a full English breakfast, and it's like roasted potatoes, solid. Those tomatoes look good. Mm -hmm. Bacon, sausage, eggs, everything else looks like a winner. A delicious meal that I would eat, and then just a third of the plate is beans. Yeah, that's not right. That's a piece of bread. You need butter on that thing. Get a piece of sourdough bread or something. You gotta make you it nice. That? That's like messier than the burrito. This is the equivalent of me of like the pulling up a grilled cheese sandwich and the cheese is like and they're sweet. It's like a sweet sauce on the beans. It, it reminds me a little bit of southern baked beans almost. It's a something that we drink. Something that we eat with like tangy, spicy pork. Um, it so again, it makes it's always been weird to me the beans for breakfast thing, and Ooh, and. I, Something happened to y'all. You know, World War II was a formative time for the planet. <laughs> and and every group, like, got its own thing. The Japanese, we turned them people into eel fucking, like, femboys, every single one, with those nuclear weapons. You just go to Texas one of the ones. Is, is yeah. that America's third most populated state? Does that sound right? California, New York, Texas. Might be second. Okay. It's it's up there. Second or third. Yeah. Because Houston well, think, is the third Guess biggest the population city. of Texas. Ooh. Uh, do you have a guess? I'm still thinking, but it's around 32 million is my is kind of my number. Oh, okay. I had 29 million in my head, so just I was thinking I'm around 30, you. but I don't know. Let's. Okay. I'll, go, I'll go. I'll go. Okay, so countries Jamie, like what? Can you look that up? 60 million <laughs> people in the country, or so, right? Wait, so 330 I'll... million in the country. There's about 330 million. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right, then I'll say 33 million. Like I'll say 10% of America's okay. Texas. I was I thinking thought, 31, but I said 32. So I'm going to stick with 32. I thought 80. No, I'm embarrassed. 80? <laughs> <laughs> it's it's like 30 point. With 30 30 30 30 30 Holy fuck. Yeah. I was only up. Oh, man. I, did I, I get a gamble right just now? <laughs> You're <laughs> hot. Let's keep this going. Let's keep, I got I to need more of this. All right. Right. Don't worry. We got 49 more states. What do you think the population minutes. of England is? Just England, with none of the rest of the United Kingdom. I bet it's less than I think. I'm I gonna think say we should all guess before. 17.5 yeah. million. I'm going to go 15 million. What? I'm going to go 23 million. Just England. Because the UK uh, is probably like... country doesn't make sense. 35 or something. I don't know. I remember France and Germany being... Germany's like 80. Finster, and it's way, guess? way more people. My theory is like, I think there's 60 million in like Total. the UK. It t Yeah. But the UK counts like only a part of Ireland, Wales and Scotland. And no one lives there unless they like have to. Oh. So I assume... <laughs> I'm going to say like 40. 45. Hmm. What is Zach? 56.5 million. That's a yeah, lot more than I not thought. Not even close. Oh, Delete oh, the last oh. two minutes, Zach. <laughs> <laughs> All right, foolish. last one. Canada. Canada. Ooh. Oh, fuck. Fucking 11. Not million. Four, 11. Four, 41. <laughs> 41 million. No, I'm going to go 24 million. I'm going to go 30. What? You were at 11. You influenced me down. My 41 influenced him. Man. Yeah. Canada, no, I, I, bet it's like, I bet it's like 20 something million. Yeah, but, but everybody the really lives there. Just the stripe above America. Oh, like, shit. Toronto is like almost as big as New York City, I think. And that's like, what, a third of their population? Okay, I'll say like 25 million. Okay, none of you went high. I'm just going to say 50. Like, price is right. <laughs> Canada? Well Show close. us Canada. 40 million. -ish. Million -ish. Damn. I read All it right. today. You read it today? All right. 
Mm-hmm. All right, well then, asterisk. <laughs> <laughs> I'm okay with that asterisk. That's a cheatery. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's those countries you assume have a lot more, and the ones where you're shocked, where it's like the Philippines are like the fourth biggest country in the world by population, shit like that. <laughs> <laughs>